Oh, you guys are getting a treat too. Dang! You guys are going to fu either fucking love this or want to fucking kill whoever. I don't know. I'm gonna let everyone know this first. Do not go and harass anyone mentioned in this video. Because first off, everyone has already started doing that. I, and if you do, just know you cannot use my name. You cannot say, oh, I came here from this person's video. Do not do that. Because I do not condone it. I went and checked it out, and I already saw people were already hating on it. So I went, okay, someone else is already doing the deed. That's not going to be a me thing. <laughs> so if you go and check it out, that's fine. I did the same thing. I will have links to some of the people that I found the thread along with whatever else I may or may not find. So, you may be questioning, okay, what is this, why is this so important, why are you doing this? Uh, we haven't heard from you like a month. Uh, first off, thank you if you were concerned about me. I just got busy and I also got distracted and I also wasn't motivated. There was a lot of shit going on. There was recent ones like Keen versus um, H3. I don't want to cover that. That's not my place because obviously I do not like Keen. I will state that flat out. I do not like him, so I don't feel like covering it. Other people have, not my place. Davi Vanity, um, don't feel like covering that either. That's, I don't feel like I could give that justice. There's already a tons of people that are already doing that. I can't put that into place. And there's probably a lot of other things I'm missing, but that's just not where I wanna be putting myself into. This, I am willing because here's the thing, you guys probably do not know. Um, I do take photographs. I do take uh, my own kinds of photographs. I will do some based on my mental health. Like uh, for a while, a few months ago, I did one based on how I was feeling with my depression. So I did one. I had obviously had some concerned family members and I told them, no, it's all good. I wanted to get this out of my system and I felt a lot better. So I basically do know some things about photography. I do not know much about business of photography, but I just know I know how to edit stuff. I know what I want in a photo, obviously. But this does have to do with photography and it's really depressing. So the first piece of evidence or keyness to this is from a news channel. I don't know where this was located, but from what I know in one of the, from the link that shows it's from El Paso. I'm not too sure where that's located. Um, yes, I am American, but please know I do not know everywhere. And this is key to what is needed for the whole story. So it says in the Facebook post, he lost his right to be in a tragic crash. A company he hired for the big day is refusing to refund him and is threatening a lawsuit. And then we have um, the link to the uh, article saying wedding videography company denying refund after fiance dies in crash in El, Pas El Paso County. So yeah, this is what we're having to deal with. Now, without context, you might be thinking, okay, what, what, okay, why was the person wanting a refund? I don't quite know either, but we're going to be looking at this and reacting at the same time. So the next picture, that we piece of evidence probably, is from the... I guess company, they're called media, um, but I'm going to be calling them S C S for now on, or if you hear me just saying Cooper, you'll know. Um, it's the same company. And they say, today we have been, have been the, today would have been the day where we would have filmed Justin and his, I guess, wife's wedding in Colorado Springs. This, this would have been in Colorado. After what Justin pulled in the media stunt to try and shake us down for a refund, we hope you sob and cry all day for what would have been your wedding day. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, uh, first off, that was very unprofessional whatsoever. And I'm going to put it this way, that we all cannot put certain things in a certain order and I guess a lot of us I think a lot of us can understand that like yeah it's hard to put things in a certain order and so on and so forth but and I think a lot of us know what this also sounds like if you don't know this very much sounds like um, another youtuber by the name Madame 
She had she had a different way of saying it, which sounded really weird. But I'm not there to say anything because I have a weird way of saying words too. She goes by a different name, and she's also putting herself into other controversies, which, like I said, I'm not going to cover. Not my place. But it kind of sounds like something she would have done. But like I said, this is not just to put her in a video or whatnot. I'm just saying it sounds like something she would have said to someone. But like I said, it's about uh, CS. But saying, we hope you sob and cry all day. That is by far the dumbest thing you could have possibly said to someone who is grieving. That is the rudest thing ever. I don't know why a company would ever say something like that. If you are a company, you have to be professional. You have to. And granted, you can be snarky. You can be con I guess condescending I'm not too sure if that would be unprofessional but I have had I've seen times where artists and because I am an artist where we have people who say we're unprofessional and then we go oh unprofessional no no this is unprofessional and they full on call the person out and have all the evidence now some people would be like oh that's unprofessional that's blah. but if it's like if the person who is asking for a commission or whatnot is being the unprofessional part and being rude, then yeah. Like I said, this is about photography. But that is by far the rudest thing ever. And this is from, I guess, the mom of the person who is deceased. And I guess this was on um, some kind of website. Uh, for what I can tell, it's on Facebook. And the mom leaves a one-star review saying, this is Blank's mother. I just want you to know how disgusting I am with your company. You are truly heartless. You, as a small business, should be more compassionate towards your clients, especially in a time like this. All of the vendors for Blank and Justin's wedding have refunded Justin the money and shown their condolence to him and our family for the loss of an amazing, beautiful, loving young woman. I will say I do want to put this out um, to the person... Uh, to the mother who did lose her daughter i am very sorry that that happened i will put this out i wouldn't even know what would happen if something like that happened to my friends or if i had a partner or like family i can just guess how heartbreaking it could be so i do send my condolence to you if you ever see this video but the per this part is what gets me iffy and they and i guess it's from the company Non-refundable means you cannot get your money back, even from the grave. It's the cost of doing business. Our attorney will be in touch, and you will be served with a summons in our defamation, defamation case. So, yeah, that is closely by far the easiest thing to know. So there is that. First off, I can understand the non-refundable non-refundable part of it because yes there are going to be companies that like take tattoo as art tattoo artists they say you have to put a down payment which is non-refundable to that it's understanding when they say that but knowing that other companies have done whether it was non-refundable whether it was refundable or not if they if the other companies were willing to do that for justin i think that shows that they do care for their client, their customer, whoever they saw Justin as, whether it was a client, customer, whatever. That is something where you have to take initiative and go, if I do this, yes, I will be out of X amount of money, but I will be helping them, and if they ever need business with me again, they know that I am trustworthy. So with that, it's iffy, I can understand. I can understand with the company. But being this rude to even the mother is still the worst thing you could have ever said. Along with defamation. Now granted, I'm not the smartest peed in the pod here. But if it's proven that you are being a jerk, then 
yeah, you're being a jerk. There is no way around that. That's like if I said, oh, I'm going to take you to court for defamation because of this, but it's proven that I've been an asshat to someone, then yeah, I have no reason to be angry at them because it's proven that I've been an asshat. So yeah, and this person who made the thread said, even their explanation sounds cruel, shaking my head, even from the grave. So yeah, and another person um, put another, um, this one, this one's gonna be hard for me. They put, this other person made a similar tweet and it has to do with a screenshot from the same company where they say to all employees and clients, it is with great sadness that we inform you of the passing of our client experience manager, Allison. Allison took her own life earlier this morning. She had been a valued member of our team for the past two years. We miss her. Allison was a wife, mother, sister, and daughter. On May 20th, 2020, our company was subject to an online smear campaign for not refunding a client who died in a car accident. So first off, from out of the out of nowhere, we have, oh, we're going to put in that someone died that was part of our company. And then immediately, yeah, there's another person that's also being an asshole to us, per se. They're trying to spin a narrative here. The client signed a non-refundable contract. As a result, friends, family, and strangers have emailed, call, and left reviews of our company on social media. Online bullying is real. Yes, but if you're being an asshole to people, yeah, you're going to get that. Now, do I agree with it? No, I, I, I obviously do not agree with it. But it's part of consequences. When you do something wrong, that's what you get. Do I agree with it? Obviously, no. I'm just putting that out there, but it will happen. We are in contact with local authorities to see what can be done in terms of criminal charges. We are also reaching out to legal consoles to see what legal action we can take to obtain a judgment for damages. No company should have to go through this for upholding a signed legal document. The rest is kind of almost cut off, so I'm not going to read that much into it. And I will also say this again. Yes, if it's non-refundable, you kind of don't have to give it back, which is understanding. But at the same time, if uh, other companies who have the same policy are giving back that refund, then you're kind of showing your true-ish colors. You're valuing money over compassion. If I had the same thing and someone came to me and said, hey, I kind of need the money back, something, something happened, I would honestly give the money back and be like, hey, I'm really sorry. Here, here's the money back. If something ever comes up ever again and we have the same kind of deal, I will still give you back the money. So on and so forth. But I also put in there, please do not be joking or please do not try and make whatever kind of it's hard to put into words what I'm meaning, but yeah. And a lot of the comments underneath, I, I'm i glad people are understanding too. This person said, I like how they are saying online bullying is real, but they say that towards the husband on their wedding day. Another person comment, dude, I read the thread and the company posted that their employee killed herself due to cyberbullying surrounding the situation. Someone looked her up. She actually died two years ago. Now, I'm going to put this in here. You cannot use someone's death in the case that is, like, that would be me using someone's death. Like, take my great-grandmother. She died last year. I cannot use her death to be an asshole to people. Now, I've even had it happen where after she died, I was an asshole to people. And I admitted it. I went, yeah, I've been an asshole. I've been stuck in anger because I've been hating people. And I can honestly say that was wrong of me. It does not excuse it. This company cannot use someone's death and then automatically try and spin it in some kind of way when it was two years ago. Yeah, you may say, yeah, I'm still upset by it, even though it was two years ago. You can still be upset. But you cannot use it and then automatically blame and try to put down and make the other person that you're trying to say it is at fault 
when they are the victim. And the same person, um, I'm going to call her S, who made the original comment, said, And the guy who owns several video companies and scams people for a living. Lol. A lot of people are giving out uh, information, which I'm not going to go to. That is not my place. Um, another person, I'm going to call O. Someone needs to find out who the person is behind the company because it sounds like a company name change. Sounds like company name change and rebrand will soon be in the works. They act like this never happened. They give out who the person is. Uh, another person in said they are straight up known scammers. They go hard. They even bought the na man's name as a domain to further try to shame the man that lost his fiance. And uh, I will put up proof from, or somewhat proof, that shows uh, two screenshots. And another person named, I'm going to call Candace for this. Said, yo, there is no way this is legal. This has to be harassment. Like, what awful people who do this, who does this, like, sorry, your photographies don't get paid for a day. This man lost his wife to be. This person uh, said a contract is void when it is deemed impossible to perform. Regardless of what the contact, contract says, it is impossible to have a wedding without the bride. Period. I may be wrong, but that's what I know. He hired a lawyer for defamation, but he's going, but he's doing this to himself. Candace then said, and also, like, regardless of legality, be a decent human. The family is already dealing with so much, and this man's slandering him, using the money from his wedding to buy a domain name with his full name, instead of just trying to give it back. And then... Oh, I found something good. <laughs> so, someone commented saying, fuck y'all for real. And then they also said, like, what's wrong with you people? The company said, same to you, fat so. First off, what the f That is so highly unprofessional. That has got to be the worst thing you can say when you are a company. No. Just. And I guess this is from uh, Justin. Um, it said, Justin, since we are making assumptions, how about me assuming correctly that you are a... Oh, I am not going to finish that. I am not. I am not going to finish that. I will... Uh, I, I can't finish that. I'm not going to. I'm sorry if you guys heard that and are like, oh, what does it say? I'm not going to finish that. I am sorry. But I will leave a link to this thread. But I'm just not going to read that. Just no. So I guess they say ha this person, I'm going to call Kai, has been doing this since 2010. He's just changed the name of the company and works under an alias. Ooh. That's, uh, that's, that's still not good. But, uh, likewise, that was from Twitter. The next thing I want to bring up is one post from Facebook that I'm going to be showing, saying there are no words for someone as disgusting as this man. He, his most recent company was CS. But he ha he's had others back to at least 2013, and he's been arrested for it. He's a heartless individual that deserves everything coming to him. Watch for his name because he's constantly starting new businesses. He started a whole website with this poor guy's name and bashed him because he asked for a refund after his fiance died tragically. There is a special place in hell for him. And then another one is where everything is blacked out. Um, it just says the name. But there's nothing else to it, and there's no other post, but there's a lot. And I mean, there is a lot of people leaving comments and reviews and all that. And I'm, I just want to put this out there for anyone who... I'm so sorry if you guys heard that. That was my mother. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put this out there. Like I said, I do not go and harass the person um obviously they're being a dick if they ever come to me and leave like either a comment or an email saying oh you need to take this video down i'm gonna put it straight up i'm not gonna take this down unless it is needed 
then I might. But other than that, I'm not going to because there is so much proof against you, my dude, that I'm not going to take it down. You can try, but I'm not going to. Because, honestly, you are... You are a huge asshole for doing this. You're an asshole. I'm going to put it straight out. You are. So I don't see why you trying to say that Justin was saying all this just because. It's been proven that his fiance passed. The contract is now in void, from what I know. And you're only doing this because you can gain something from this. Because you think, oh, I'm going to be able to get away with this when it's been proven that you've done this before, obviously. So that's on you for being a jerk. But yeah, I'm going to leave this here. This is going on for like forever. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Uh, this was definitely something. I didn't think I'd make a video quite this depressing almost, especially admitting that um, I also had a death in the family. I usually don't like talking about myself, so I try not to. But knowing that I can relate somewhat to this, just a tad bit, like knowing that someone passed away it's hard, but I don't, I don't fully get the whole, like, everything else, but I can at least sympathize, because that's the most I can do, and I hope, I hope Justin does get what he can, I hope he gets his revenge, and I hope the other guy earns his karma, whatever, but that's the most I can do, I'm not gonna do much else if something comes up, and there's like development that is important I might make a video but other than that um, thank you guys for watching this video and I hope I can see you guys the next time peace